Hello, welcome back to episode 53 of our Geneforge 2 infestation playthrough. We are going to go and try to talk to Gareth. You continue to sneak through the Barzite workshop. There is a large laboratory to the south. It is not empty. You can hear a person pacing back and forth and muttering. You enter a breeding hall. Shaper tools and weapons are grown, not made. They are grown in facilities like this one. You look into the pens and see living tools, batons, and even mines. They all move very slowly on their stubby little legs, eating and occasionally mating. Eventually, infant tools are extracted from the pens and prepared for their purpose. Considering the number of mines and weapons growing here, Geth must be preparing for quite a lot of fighting. One of the guards at this workshop has spotted you, points you and shouts an alarm. Geth becomes hostile very quickly. Well, so much for that. All right. He's only has 644 health. Not a way to mental, mental 90%. Okay, so that's not gonna work. I was hoping we could get in here and just talk to Gareth, but apparently we would have to fight our way out. So we're gonna start that over. Yeah, that's not very useful. We've learned what we need to learn here. Uh, about the vats and the army building. See if there's anything interesting in here. Just a bucket. An elite warrior. Some suppression turrets. A lot of suppression turrets. And an exit out that way. Right, and we came up in that tunnel. Oh, there's another exit out of town this way, too. All right, uh, let's just see. All right, so that would take us to the rising bridge. There's also another bridge over here. And then we could also travel to the Geth Gates. Sentinels. Well, that's not what I want to do. Some trash. Just servile. Kind of neutral. What do we get in here? Let's take all of their food. Let's sell it somewhere else. In their metal pots, why not? Sell it back to them. Pennies on the dollar. And the servile is tending to get the crops. He's a simpler sort of servile, ready to take orders and resistant to rebellious thoughts. He looks up at you, looking for information. Oh, <laughs> who's your master? Don gives us orders. What are you working on? Uh, food. Carry on. Alright, we're looking for some sort of smart shaper, maybe, or servant. You find a nest. The ground beneath it has the tracks of a large, clawed creation. Some of the tracks are fresh, and some are old. It goes out hunting a lot, whatever it is. Alright, we got a topaz. Some sort of beastie out hunting. Check these. We must have looked at these already. No, we didn't. Uh, interesting. Whatever little beast lives around here. It's on patrol right now. Bones and trash. Probably be smart for us. Oh, let's hit that speed with blessing and protection. These narrow, rocky ravines are littered with trash. You see chunks of metal, broken tools, and other junk. A lot of it is half buried. Someone has been dumping trash here for a long time. There are two sorts of footprints in the ground. Most are from serviles who have been scavenging the area extensively. There are also tracks of something with very large, very heavy feet. These footprints have formed a deep, a long, deep rut in the ground going east to west. Something huge patrols the area. All right. You encounter a huge golem patrolling these dusty ravines. It has a rock shell, like all such magical creations. However, it is cracked in many places, revealing its innards. In some places you see machinery, in others you see pulsy fleshing, fleshy material. The creature is a weird combination of magic shaping and machinery. It emits ringing, clicking, and buzzing sounds, the product of clockwork machinery buried deep within its shaped flesh. You've never seen anything like it. 
The golem looks down at you, processing you with an alien intelligence. It says, bzz, bzz. You, intruder, unallowed, click, click, retreat from entryway or hostilities. Bzz. Some of the exposed machinery looks vulnerable. If you're quick, you might get a living tool into its chest and deactivate it. All right, use a living tool to deactivate it. You lunge forward and plunge the living tool in the golem's chest. It tries to walk away, but your skilled fingers direct the tool's tendrils deep into its workings. You find something that feels like a sensor. With a twist and a pull, you break it. The golem stumbles, stands upright, and shudders. It looks around as if it just woke up. Then it walks away. Its sensors have been damaged. It cannot see you as a threat. Well, let's hope it doesn't uh, start seeing random things as a threat. Uh, some tools on the ground here. I'm glad we came this way f later. Oh, what are you? Just a regular Glack of 140 health. Okay. Uh, give me the old guarded lunge. And he's dead. Alright. Some bones. Nice friendly clockwork golem. What's this? Bar of iron. Some pots and jars. Hey, handy little living tool to replace the one that we, uh, we got all right, some dried meat. What are you? It's a rusted out hunk of machinery. You have no idea what it was used for. All right, and then to the north of the gates is the clockwork maze. Okay, we're gonna finish exploring the gates, but now we have a very, very interesting. Wait, why? Okay, you're still reset, but you're not showing friendly anymore. It's a bedroll. It's a weird spot for one. It's a camp. Bunch of bolts. Bar of iron. Blanket. Something was staying up here. Private valleys where capping stay out. <laughs> okay. The shaper agent Phipps. Okay. Here we go. You are very surprised to meet an agent hiding here. She is dirty and tired, but she maintains herself with calm and dignity appropriate to a shaper. She seems glad to see you. Ah, the scouting run has turned out much better than I thought it would. Hello, you are Shaper Aaliyah. Yes, I am Agent Phipps. I have some information that would interest you. Uh, how do you know my name? These mountains are small, Aaliyah. Scouts, spies, and merchant travels. merchants travel everywhere, even through Taker lands. You and Agent Shanti hadn't been here more than two days before everyone was aware of you. All right, where are you scouting? I'm watching Geth, seeing how far along the Barzite preparations are. There are a lot of there are lots of dangerous rebels and rogues up here. I don't think the Barzites are the worst threat, but they are dangerous. Before I get back to base, I'll also learn what the Takers have been doing. Where's your base? I'm from the settlement of Loyalists, due west of here. I've been spying. I went as far east as Freegate, and now I'm heading back. Takers? The most mad of the mad. They live in the high mountains to the northwest. Those fools actually long for open war with the Shapers. I suppose that is a good quality. It will enable us to find and exterminate them more efficiently. Alright, I have another question. Uh, Alright. What do you need to tell me? Not everyone west of the Free Gate is disloyal to the Shaper Council. There is a settlement of us due west of here. Shaper Zachary sent us. We're well hidden on the west side of the river. You should come see us. We could use the help, and you could probably use contact with someone who still follows the law. Uh, well, okay. How long have you lived in these mountains? We loyalists came here after Zachary did. We lived in Dry Peak for some time without knowing about the madness brewing here. When we found out, Zachary pretended he knew nothing and sent us west to scout. We had been out here a few months when you and your agent arrived. How long have you been hidden out here? Not long. When he found the tunnel to Freegate, Shaper Zachary could no longer pretend rebels weren't here. He knows the Shaper Council will send forces here soon, and he wants us to look as loyal as he can. That's why he sent us. We're to watch the Barzites and Takers. Harass them when possible. Send Zachary all the intelligence we can, and help you if you need it. Alright. We haven't declared our loyalty yet, so everyone's still kind of courting us. 
Uh, I'm looking for my teacher. She was an agent named Shanti. Have you seen her? She looks worried. Oh, I had heard rumors of Agent Shanti coming west, but that is all. I had hoped to find her. Oh, dear. It is probably nothing, but you might want to investigate the groves west of here. One of our scouts said he saw some rebels around there. They looked like they had a prisoner. All right. Uh, thank you for your help. Well... Mountains, a question. All right, thank you for your help. You can move on now. Yes, don't forget, do west. Come visit us. Resist the temptations of the rebels. They make many promises, but they will only bring you the vengeance of the council. She calmly turns and runs off heading west. Well, we aren't exactly looking to be the most favored by the council, so to speak. So, not too worried about that. We are planning on eventually aligning with the Takers, probably. Just as a sort of, you know, hey, this is the secret. We're going to sell people flowers from the graveyard. Uh, but yeah, we're just doing kind of a contrast to the more level-headed approach that we took as Common Warriors patrolling the field well, with the first playthrough of uh, Gene Forge 1. Anyway, all right, it's Common Warriors patrolling the fields north of Geth. He's well-armed and his blade and armor look newly forged. Geth clearly has a lot of resources. Unsurprisingly, the presence of a Shaper worries him. The Commons almost almost always fear your kind, and you are a stranger. He says, welcome to our to our land, Shaper. We bars like to wish you peace. I hope you give us the same to us. What are you on the lookout for? Rogues, invaders, the awakened, the takers, anyone who would bother us. Anything I should know about this area? Nothing you can't handle, I'm sure. There's an eccentric old Shaper who lives in the caves to the north, making machines. I keep away from there. Her creations can be unpredictable. Right, who's your commander? Gath is run by Commander Brent. He's in the southeast corner of town. Right, that's all. Alright, so whatever monster was over here is probably that Glack, I imagine, that we killed in the northwest. The only thing that really makes sense. Some scarecrows, some crops, poke our head into their little storage barn here. Uh, we're going to take your stuff. We're not friends with you. Uh, chainmail vest, thorns, fishing pole. Oh, right. And we had that, that quest from the servile to grab his stuff from the Thad dumping ground. Which we can go and do real quick. Uh, it's going to be one of these houses. Let's see, let's see. Probably under the bed. I think he said it was under the bed. Ah, you look under the bed, there's nothing there but dust. You must be in the wrong hut. Okay. So then it would be in this one to the south. I guess we could go in the front door. Alright. This is the only... Oh, you look under the bed. There is indeed an item hidden there. Something wrapped in a dirty square of linen. You unfold it and find something precious and rare. A fresh piece of mandrake root. Uh, do we have mandrake root? Hmm... We need to go check our supplies. Or we can go back and tell them, oh, uh, yeah, well, there, your package wasn't there. We could probably turn it in, though. We'll go double check Medab. That's where we drop off all our stuff generally. 
Do we have any mandrake root on the ground? We've got salt weed. We've got infernal residue. We've got deep focus orb. And a letter to rising. Could probably drop the terror. Uh, hang on to the terror wand. I don't think we're going to be using these spray crystals anytime soon. But if we find a use for them, we'll hang on to them. move some of our consumables around the fibrous energy and cold resistance yeah I think we'll just put that down for now if we need some money we'll get it alright we're gonna leave we who needed mandrake root uh shoot Let's see, pure shard of crystal, purified essence, and tendon of a rogue drake. We still need purified essence. Uh, Barzites could cure this survival disease, maybe. Finchy is who we're looking at now. Crystals for Sholai. Alright. Eula's treasure hunt. All oh, right, Sage Markov and Dry Peak. We could go do that. We need to find Shaper Ferriton. Okay, so I think we're fine. Where is Finchy? Was in the inn. I think we're fine. I think that was the one. The mandrake root was like the one technique we knew needed mandrake root and infernal residue. Alright. Have the item from under your bed. Inspect the mandrake, making sure that it's still fresh. The mandrake is twitching slightly. He nods. Good. I have an order from this from the Radiant College. It's a fair trade. I'll give you something else. I don't need these anymore. He opens a pouch and takes out several gemstones. He gives them to you. Seems smart. Tormented. What work do you do? question you do around here what have you seen what do you scavenge shapers names anything else you can tell me about the shaper all right so no other no other oh, we are closing in all right let's go find say the sage in dry peak was the was that the crystal worker in the back of Zachary's little place. Yeah, Eula's treasure hunt. Alright, we haven't uh, upset anybody yet. Not enough for them to attack us. Uh, let's head on back. Oh, up the stairs. That's where we need to go. You are, yep, Sage Markov. All right. Eula sent me to you. Gives you a wary look. Really? So you have been in the high mountains, seen the forest, the show line. You, the show line. You know a lot of secrets. So tell me, what did Eula want? She wants to know where the can where canisters are made. He laughs. So you really did meet her, and she trusts you. Then I will too. Whatever his skills, Markov would make a terrible spy. I think I found the location of the factory in Shaper Zachary's library. Took a long time to decipher it, but I did it. Go on. Eula already knows. She was right. It was in the place where she thought. The ruined stone. Take that information back to her. Wish I could tell you more, but it's a start. Any other way you can help me? Hmm. Not yet. You're helping us. So I'll help you if I can. Give me a little time to figure out something. Uh, what's your job here? Crystals... Interesting having the mountains. Lots of things, I think. Uh, raw materials. And the question. Okay, so we can't ask him about the uh, the coordinates on the paper, which is what uh, what we found. Was there a book up here? That we could use? Yes, no. There's a chest. And there's this book here. Oh, 
Undefined artifact report to Shia Island specimen 83, sort of undetermined essence interface capabilities. Alright, this is where we got the purification blade. Um, yeah. Double checking all these books while we're here. The Unreal. Blank page, brain zone faint, two locations have been identified for the location of the blank. Better by far is that blank. Alright, so we have, that's the two locations that has the location of the workshop where the canisters are made. While we're here, I think we have some cash. Maybe we can do some training. We'll see. Uh, you can give me any training. Learn new spells. We can improve days. We can improve protection and cure affliction. 1940. Weapon shaping. We can improve war infusion. And guardian push. And shape creations. We can. Oh, this is where we could improve create fire. And. Alright, now we've got all the. Yeah, that was. Uh, that was all of the cheap, uh, what's it called? Oh, what, what is that? Blast crystal. Where do we get this? Firestorm. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Also, we now have leveled up our create for all right when you approach shaper zachary his lap was full of maps and messages he's far busier than when you arrived i didn't try and talk to him out of sight events have started to move quickly in the mountains when you approach he sets them aside he looks concerned ah shaper Aaliyah, thank you for returning i have a small issue and i could use your help very small but it needs attention and you're one of the few who can help all right what's going on i have a small problem it has been present for some time well not a problem an anomaly Something that requires attention, unrelated to the current crisis. Okay. You've done nothing. You've known about it for a while. Zachary frowns. Do not overstep your bounds, apprentice. Your, our laws still apply here, and I am in my right to command you without question. I require you to investigate the matter of Emily. She has been in a fixed position for some time now, so you can go south to find out about her. South? It's Emily. A very young common woman. She lives out in the wilderness. No known family. No known home entirely feral. She can speak and she is friendly. Normally I would not bother with common business. However, there is a problem. She knows how to shape. Uh, oh, so in the very first episode, if you remember, as we were coming into town, there was a little Fiora standing in the middle of the path that didn't attack us. And there was a little camp with nobody there. I bet this is the lady who lives out there and made the Fiora. How does she survive out there? Scavenging, most like. Petty theft. I think that her creations help her survive. Where'd she come from? No idea. We got the first reports of her existence two years ago. She has wandered this region since then. We don't know where she came from. Why does she concern you? She is a common who has been using the forbidden powers of shapers. Shaper law requires an investigation. Comments who steal our power are executed, though I hope this won't be necessary in this case. The problem is that she may have been forced to have this power. In that case, I honestly don't know what to do. What does she shape? She has been seen by two credible witnesses creating Fioras. Her shaping techniques seem unusual but adequate. She has been seen several other times, and she has displayed no other magical abilities. She, she probably got, like, hit one Fiora canister. How did she learn to shape? We have no idea, or at least we didn't. Lately, we have been learning more about the rebels of the higher mountains, their forbidden experiments, their canisters. She may have been the subject of their early experiments. She may have forbidden abilities, but those abilities may have been forced upon her. Unfortunately, Shaper Law is vague about what is to be done in this case. Because if it was written down in the law, then people would know that the possibility exists, and then people would be trying to discover it. Alright, what do you want from me? 
Emily has been camping along the road south of Dry Peak. The road you first used to approach our town. There we go. She is a tent by a tiny lake some miles to the south. Find her, evaluate her, deal with her as you see fit. I am very busy, and this is a minor issue. I hope to have no more involvement. Why'd you choose me? You are not under my direct control. You are free to travel. You traveled that road recently. Agent Shanti trusted you, so I will trust you too. This is not urgent, but I think it matches your skills. Good luck. Come tell me when you make a decision. Let me know if you want to discuss anything else. Interesting. Kind of surprised. Oh, let's actually talk here. Uh, what is your philosophy as a shaper? Sharing. All right. Here you guard creations. Teacher. Doubt by other shapers. Another question. Uh, where do you want to go now? I found a settlement of independent serviles called Medab. Their leader is Learn Penner. Ooh, we can tell him about the serviles. Uh, we're not going to do that yet. We're going to see if we get some other options to offer. He might be able to be the one that cure the serviles disease, but uh, where is all our creations? They're right here. Come on. All right. Dry Peaks Ascent. Emily's Fate. Ooh. All right. Real quick, we're going to pop back over to Shandoka and tell uh, Eula about the canister workshop. Walking along... Oh. Oh, well, oops, I forgot those reset. I almost died. That would have been annoying. All right, I spoke with Sage Markov. Say what you learned. You tell her what he said. I was right. The, the place where I thought, marked by a rune stone? Very interesting. I confess, Shaper, I did not think anything would come of this, but it has. We don't have profit yet, but I think we can now have great results together. To show you I am worth working with, you should take this. She gives you a pouch of coins. Okay, that was like 300 coins. That's not bad. Uh, I like to trade with you. I like to sell something. Do we have anything we need to keep in here? Nope. All right, sell the... Oh, she doesn't have any money. Well, that's not very helpful. All right, let me see your wares. Anything I need? Uh... No. All right. The equipment. I have another question. So just helping you find place. Gangsters are made. Uh, sure, it'd be long abandoned by now, but I may find secrets or tools we're selling. I have inv invested in you. I will share earnings if you find something good. Markov looked through Zachary's notes. He found where the workshop is. I would send you there. Where is the workshop? She thinks on this, wondering whether to share her secrets. I can't be here long. I must be decisive. I think I can trust you, so I will. I found notes full of suggestions. Markov confirmed them. The canister workshop is hidden in the swamps of awakened lands. Entrance is in a cliff face. There's a tall, ruined stone right by the entrance. I ask you to go there. So the swamps, okay. How can I tell when I'm close to the workshop? Apart from the ruined stone, I have no idea. I know you are a shaper. You know your ways. Maybe you can find a way to see a thing long hidden. It would help to find a swamp within awakened lands. Well, we definitely know where one of those is. Just the workshop. See if it is there. See if it is intact. If you can bring, if you can find notes or equipment, bring them back to me. For now, though, we need to find and inspect the place to learn how to proceed. All right. Five experience. Ah, oh, come on. Well, 300 coins was a decent payoff, too. And also, we need to remember not to walk through the mines again. That was bad. We should go to... Oh, wait, where am I going? Come over here. Don't go that way. We should go to a friendly town and resupply. Maybe someone in Triola knows where... Yeah, we got Fort Muck, 
Hunted Fen, Bandit Marsh. Oh, it tells you. Eula's Treasure Hunt. There we go. All right, we'll pop into Triola. Just to refill our essence and everything. And then we head to the Bandit Marsh. That's okay. So we had already we had found the rune stone already. Wait, where are there scavelings here? I thought we cleared everything out. I guess not. Oh, did we not? Did we not clear this area? Surprising. To the west, the ground rises up above the muck far enough to dry out. Where it reaches the cliff face, there's a stone obelisk. It's at least a century old, and the runes carved into its surface are crumbled and Ill illegible. Remembering what you learned from Eula and Sage Markov, you carefully inspect the cliff face. You scrape away some moss and find a thin crack. A bit more work reveals a rectangular break in the stone. The application of force swings out the rectangle of stone on rusty hinges, revealing a cave on the other side. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Look at this! Oh, gassy scuttlebug? What are they? I wonder if we kill them if they turn into gas or if they'll let off poison gas or something. Alright. Well, we will explore this hidden cave and Eula's mystery and maybe talk to Emily, the accidental shaper, next time. Thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed what you see, you get some ideas for us to make our creations better for our tactics or use our spells more wisely, leave a comment below and let me know. I need some help as I've been running into some difficult scenarios with the Infernals and with Sharon's last creation. Maybe we need to just get stronger. Anyway, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.